Okay, so you have your model in the voxel room, and you applied some shaders to it, and you're ready to do some vertex painting. And as soon as you go over to the paint room, you create you know a new layer here. You pick the color that you want. Uh, you have your paintbrush selected, the e-panel draw mode that you want to work with. You check the different channels that you want to utilize. In this case, I want to work with just color. Okay, and your opacity is at the level that you want. So you've gone through your whole checklist and you start painting and you can't see anything. What's happening? What's what's wrong? What did I miss? Well, if we go back to the voxel room and switch to a different type of shader, now all of a sudden you can see the paint. You actually did apply paint to that layer you just couldn't see it because some of these shaders do not visibly show the work you're doing so which ones do work well typically the pick mats or the lamb light shaders will work okay and just depending on which ones you can always uh, right click and edit current objects and you can adjust the colors if you want but you may notice Let's say, for example, if I choose this pick matte clay color, it's going to have a slightly different tint than a Cook Torrance shader. Okay, so again, Lamb Light, Cook Torrance, and the default shader is almost a white shader. So you're going to get the full range of color. Okay, now this one you might have to actually adjust your lighting down a bit. Oops. if this is the one you want to work with but uh, again you could use one of these lighter colors like uh, pink matte gray and get a, a similar color Oops. using a Wacom stylus it's not as uh, precise as using a mouse sometimes okay so just to review the pink matte shaders the lighter ones typically will work best. Lamb light shaders and the Cook Torrance one works uh, pretty good as well. Okay, so I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.